Hi, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I just want to do a brief report uh, from the Arctic. I usually defer these days to Margot, who does detailed reports every day. But I just want to uh, show something that has, uh, has struck me in the last uh, day or so. So let's go and share the screen. Okay, so this is on the, uh, the 10th of August, and this shows uh, the top of Greenland, just sort of going around to the eastern side. Well, the whole of the Arctic has been under cloud, so you can't really uh, see what's happening. But what alarmed me was... Um, this uh, is the US Navy site, which shows uh, the position in terms of the thickness of the ice. And you can see that it shows here uh, just this last little bit of thickness of ice. But the fact is that the just right on the edge here, that's, that's the uh, uh, the photograph um, and it shows it uh, breaking up. So uh, that's highly alarming. Uh, we can't really uh, see what is happening to the rest of, um, of the ice. But if that is what's happening on the edge of Greenland, where all the thicker ice is, um, then that's highly alarming. So I just want to, I'll, I'll show one picture uh, separately. I'll show what the thickness of the ice has been looking at in the last 30 days. And finally, I just want to show a, um, a brief uh, movie which shows the uh, uh, high levels of um, of methane right up in this area around here, um, around Komsomolets Island. Uh, and it's interesting, it seems to correspond with an area where there is this just this last remaining bit of thicker ice.